Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm coming with this tutorial for earrings and a ring, diamond shape. I'm using here only two colors of seed beads and really simple stuff and with the easy step-by-step -step instructions that I'm giving, I'm sure you're gonna be able to make it. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more similar absolutely free content and you will be inspired often, usually two or three times a week. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. You don't know how much of a support this is. I can't thank you enough for these actions. Check description for full list of materials, other useful resources, also a link to my Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them. And also a lot of work goes in this video, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with a lot of perks that you could check in description and with a course of five Peyote Stitch videos. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay, dear beading friends, and for this video what I'm using are really simple stuff. Only two colors of 11 o seed beads. You could use 10 o seed beads if you want. Here I have earring findings. This is Nymo Nylon Thread, which is size D. The thickness is 0.3 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. Here I'm using size 10 beading needle and scissors and you might want to also use pliers but they are not obligatory. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and first I'm going to take a stopper bead. I slide it down. I'll leave here a tail let's say 10 inches or 25 centimeters because later I will finish my work using this tail, okay? And I place here a stopper bead. In my next step I'm taking three Y beads, sliding those down, then one purple bead and I also slide it down, okay? Then I will continue a long sequence of beads and I'll be back to show you what it is. Okay, my friends, and I have the following sequence. A stopper bead, three whites, one purple, seven whites, one purple, five whites, one purple, seven whites, one purple, five whites, and one purple. You could pause on this frame, pick all of those beads up, and we will continue. Okay? I hope you did it. Now... What I want to do is make my first tricky road and how I do this, I flip this like in this direction and I go through the white which is next to the purple and then I pull. You see when I pull I have this. Then I need three white beads and uh, I go through the fourth bead counting from er where I'm exiting out of. Okay, I'm exiting out of this bead which is next after the two purple beads and I count one, two, three and I go through the fourth one with the three beads that I just took. And you see symmetrically now from both sides, here I have three beads and here I have three beads and here are the beads that I'm going through with my thread that separate my elements. Then I take two whites and one purple and I want to go here just after the purple. You see I just Repeat what I have from the other side, three by three, if you understand me. If not, just follow the steps, everything will be okay. Okay, 
So here from this side I have two whites and one purple and here I also add two whites and one purple and go through the following white and form similar element. Then I take three white beads, skip three and go through the fourth one. which is just next to the purple one. Now I need one purple and two white beads. And I go here one, two, three, four through the fourth one. And pull. Then I need three white beads and I count one, two, three, four and go here through the fourth one again. And then I take one purple and two whites and I go here in the last white which is just next to the stopper bead and I pull. Now I'll do something that I'm going to be doing all the time when I change direction and start a new row and it is as I'm exiting here I skip this bead I don't go back through it but skip it and go through the next two beads okay just like this so i'm exiting from this one and go back through these two then i'm going to take two whites and one purple and i go here in the middle of the three beads that i added in my previous row you see here i added three and I'm going in the middle one of them. And with this on my needle, I go here in the middle white one. Like this. Then I take two whites and one purple. And I go here in the middle of the three next beads that I added in my previous row. Then I take the other way around one purple and two white beads. One, two, three. And I go here in the middle one. Okay. Then again, two whites and one purple go in the middle of my next three beads. One, two, three. This is the middle one. And the other way around, one purple and two whites. And I go here in the middle. Sorry in the middle of my next three purple white white and I go in the middle one okay now I have this and now guys it's easier for me to flip my work I will flip it in this direction and here in my next step I will do what I did before every time when I start a row I skip one bead and I go so here I'm exiting out of this one, I skip it, I don't get, go back through it, but I go through the following two. Now, in fact, I'm in the middle of these three beads that I have here. And what I need to take are two whites and one purple. And I go here in the middle one of my next three beads. Then I take three whites, I 
and I go here again in the middle of the next loop of three beads. You see everywhere I have loop of three beads, one, two, three. And again, I take three and I go here in the middle one of my next loop of three. Three whites and I go in the middle one of my next loop of three. Here I need one purple and two white beads. And you see my next three? I go in the middle one of them. It's a really cool and simple formula once you get it. Okay, I have this. Now I'm going to flip my work. And I skip this one that I'm exiting out of and I go through the following two. And here I'm making the line of the edge. Always when I make the line of the edge, I first take white beads. And then I will take one purple. Okay, let me pop up my next three and see which one is the central one. Then I go through it with two whites and one purple. And I take one purple and two whites and I go here again in the middle of the three beads. The other way around, which is two whites, one purple. And I go here in this middle one. One purple, two whites, and go in the middle of the my next three. Okay, now guess what? It's time to flip. Skip one and go through the following two. And I take two whites, one purple, and I go here in this white one, which is the middle of my next loop. Okay, then I take three and I go in the middle of my next loop of three. One black and two whites go in the same place. Now it's easier for me to flip. And then I skip this one go through the following two. Here I'm forming the edge, so I need white beads and I also need one purple here to outline the shape that I'm making. And then the other way around one purple and two white beads. go in the middle one here. Okay, I have this and I'm going to flip again and absolutely the same thing as I'm exiting here guys from this bead. I don't go through it but I go through the following two white beads. And after that I take three white beads and I finish my shape from this side. Okay, I have it finished from this side, so I want to transfer to the other side. Okay. And I won't be going through this white bead, but I will directly go through these two whites. And now you see this loop of three beads, purple, white, white, I'm in the middle of it. So what I'm going to be doing 
is taking two whites and one purple go in the middle of my next shape one purple two whites two whites one purple I will show you this with less explanation, just the steps. One purple, two whites. Two whites, one purple. A purple and two whites. You see, I'm alternating them. Okay, flip, skip one, go through two. Two whites, one purple. Three whites. Three whites. Three whites, one purple, two whites. Flip, skip this one and go through the next two. Two whites, one purple. One purple, two whites. Two whites, one purple. One purple, two whites. It's like a melody. Flip. Go in this direction. Two whites, one purple. Three whites. A purple and two whites. Flip. Skip one, go through two. Two whites, one purple, a purple and two whites, flip, skip one, go through two, three whites to finish the frame. Now guys, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into earring, then I will make absolutely the same element and I'll show you how to turn this into ring. So make two of those elements absolutely the same and one will be earring, the other will be ring. Okay, then in order to turn this into earring, go in this direction through all of my beads and exit here at the top now i'm going to take two purple beads my earring finding and two purple beads okay this is what i'm taking and i'm going here through these white beads keep the one at the top and go like this okay then what i want to do is to reinforce it
go through all of those beads around here. And you could do several reinforcements of your earring finding. When you're ready, go through some beads and find a place to make a knot. How I make a knot? I make a loop here. And I go once. Then I go second time through the loop I've made and I pull. And then I go through one or two beads in this direction. You, you might want to repeat this knot several times, guys. And when you're ready, cut your thread. Here I want to remove this stopper bead and I will put my needle on it. Also zigzag through the beads and make knots and then cut it. Okay, I'll be back to show you how to make the ring. Okay guys, and now I have absolutely the same element. I repeated again the whole process and I have another element. And here I will show you how to turn this into a ring. Okay, I'm exiting here. I just added these last three beads. And what I want to do is to go back skip this bit that I'm exiting out of and I want to go back out of these three beads at the edge and I'm going to take one purple bead and I go back in circle through the white you see I have this then I'm going again through the purple like this then I'm going to take a white bead and I go back through this white. Now I'm making the ring band. Okay. And I pull. Then I go backwards through this white one. And I take a purple. Go back through this white. And backwards through the purple. A purple again, go back and again through the purple, a white, go through the white and one more time backwards through the same white. This is called square stitch or ladder stitch. Okay, and again I repeat it, go through the purple, adding one purple, go backwards through the purple. I'll show you one more row, one purple and go back through the purple. Then go backwards through this purple one more time. one white go back through the white and one more time backwards one purple and go back through the purple and backwards through the same purple okay guys and i'm going to continue this until i have a ring band that's long enough to wrap it around my finger. If you forgot how I'm doing it, just rewind the video from here and repeat these three steps until you have the long enough ring band. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and for my finger, 15 rows are enough. Now, what I'm going to do is to flip it like this and connect it. 
you see and I will have my ring okay you could do more or less rows it depends on the finger that you're using it for okay I'm exiting out of this bit okay I'm exiting out of this purple bit and you see these three beads here at the edge one two three and I want to go through the first of them and pull then what I'm going to do is go back through this purple now I have a loop between these white beads and the purple one and I pull what I'm going to do next is go through the white and also through the following white then I go back through this white one here the middle one and I pull pull tight then again I go backwards through the white and through the following white I turn my work the way it's easier for me and I go through the purple also backwards through the white and you could do additional reinforcement if you can through all of those three and then backwards through all of those three and then backwards through all of those three okay then I go through some beads in this direction I make a knot I cut my thread and my ring will be ready okay guys and now my seed beads ring and earrings diamond shape are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't you also help me so much by liking sharing and commenting thank to all of you that do this check description for full list of materials link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials a lot of work goes in these videos so you might want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description thank you so much for staying here with me until the end now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching